No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to use first person on Share Factory just like this to give you more options and effects to enhance your videos and montages. In addition I'll also show you a bonus clip which enhances the effect even more and don't forget to check out the shout out of the day also. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using Share Factory, plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff, then this is the channel for you. So please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. First thing to have done is to have got your gameplay that you want to use and record that gameplay so you've got that recorded ready to use on Share Factory. This is the original clip of the game that I played, so we're going to use this as the effect. Once you've recorded that, you want to find your replay of that game, so go into your careers and then replays, click on that and get into the game. Fast forward until you get to the clip that you want to use, and we're just going to get to this part here. Just as you get into the bit you want to use, you want to push the triangle, pause it, and you want to bring the speed straight down to 0.1, and then press play again, and then just let it keep playing out until you got to the point where you've just about to start shooting. So I'm watching the pistol once that comes out then we want to push the right hand stick until we get to drone attach okay then you move across to your um, character and move up into position and you just want to find a position where you're just having the view down the gun a little bit with the gun to the right hand side you could use the other side if you wanted to so this bit is totally up to you once you've done it because we've got it on drone attach we can then push the left hand stick once we've got it in the right position push the left hand stick on the controller and that will get rid of all the writing and the hud on the screen and then once you've done that you can double tap the um, the share button on the controller and then that will start recording the clip so then you can push the triangle to press play and that will play the clip okay there you go that's showing that we're recording so push triangle to play and we'll let that play out okay so nice and easy kill there we just let it carry on recording for a couple of seconds then double tap the share button on the controller and then we can go out of replays into share factory new project get rid of all these ticks and then just go into most recent find the two clips that we recorded and then once we've got both those into the project then what we want to do is find the gameplay and split that up so that we've only got the clip that we want to use so i'll do that ahead now so that we're not waiting any longer so that's all done now so that is nice and easy we can get rid of this intro part that we don't want so all we're going to do is just play this gameplay clip out to see uh, what the gameplay was like we remember that we pulled the gun out and what we want to do is go back to the point just before we shoot okay and then we can split it there so let's go back using the d-pad you can go frame by frame and then you just keep going forwards 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 until you get to just about to shoot and then literally just before it's about to shoot so we can see we're about to shoot and then i think if we actually let it shoot and then we go back a couple of frames and then we can push the cross button split the clip and then once we split it then we can then go on to the first person recording and bring that into the middle so we push the square button and then move the clip across so it's in the middle of the two gameplay clip, clips and then we want to shorten this first person clip to the point that we want it to start and finish so we'll use split again so we'll just use the d-pad going to the right until it starts to move and we start to get ready to shoot and then once we're happy with that there you go that's about to shoot so we go back a couple of frames push the cross button to split and then we can just delete the bit at the beginning that we don't want so we go on to that and delete that and then we let it play out until the kill has ended and then once it has ended we can use the split again so we'll um, split the clip up so that it ends at that point so there we go there's the kill we use the d-pad keep on moving across until we want it to end and then once we want it to end push the cross button to split the clip again and then once we've got that split we can go across to the bit after that and delete it because we don't need it so we delete that and we should be left with the gameplay either side of the first person effect that we want 
Okay, so we can't leave it there because we've inserted the first person video in the middle of the gameplay. It means that the third part is out of sync. So we need to go into that and find the point where we want to split it so that we um, can start the third part where the second part finishes. Okay, and then it will all flow nicely. So play about with it, but you pretty much got this right, I think. So uh, that should just flow from gameplay to first person to gameplay again. Okay, once you're happy with it, you can push options on the controller and then you can export to gallery and that's going to merge all three clips together so you can export it to a uh, montage if you want to. So let's get out of that. We'll just quickly show you what the exported clip looks like. You can see now it's all one clip instead of three separate clips and that will just merge together nicely. You can add audio and music and all that to it as well. Okay, we're not finished there. We've got the bonus clip, which is going to take it one step further. So before we do that, we're going to do the shout out of the day, which goes to Angel Gamer. So thanks so much for all your comments and support recently. I really appreciate it. Please do check out Angel Gamer's channel. And if you like what they're doing, please do consider subscribing. Okay, so the bonus clip is just this one playing now. What we can do is exactly the same process as we did before, but instead of just sitting on the gun, we can do a zoom in, zoom out. Okay, and that's a really good effect. And um, I'm actually making a montage and I'm gonna use that effect soon as well. So you'll see that in a little while. The way to do it is when you're in replays like we were before, instead of staying next to the gun, you literally zoom in and out nice and slowly like this speed. And then when you're in share factory, you can use the time bender to speed it up. And then that gives a really nice effect. And I think you'll find that really useful. Okay, any questions do give me a shout. If you've liked this, please do push the like button. Please do comment and let me know that you liked it and do consider subscribing and turn on, on notifications. And do check out all my other Share Factory videos. We've got huge amounts in the playlist now and I'm gonna keep on adding to them. So thanks very much and bye.